Hi all, we are back again with our last tutorial playthrough from, from the base game. This is mission three, which is called Valley Point Charlie. Uh, and it's very much where the difficulty of the game uh, kicks up a notch. Uh, we introduced the two operators that we've not uh, dealt with before, who are very different to the, um, to the guys that we've been using previously. These are not so stealthy ones. So uh, they've got a lot of power weapons, med kits, so uh, bombs much more, much more geared up for, for a bit of a fight. And that is what they're gonna get on this on this map because uh, basically uh, the other guys got in the jeep. Uh, they came uh, and they're, they're on the way to the original rally point. Well, the Germans are combing the rally point looking for them. Um, we have basically just got to hold out until they get here to save us. So at this point, we introduced the event windows, which is the event window for this game is 18-6. So we need to count out 18 cards, then another six cards, two, three, four, five, six. And then we take our special event card and put that one into the, the uh, six. We put the 18 back on top and then the rest of them underneath. So we know we've got 18 turns before the window where the vehicle could turn up to save us we've got uh will take place we've also got we're playing on normal again so we've got the atp uh, time here set to six so that is ready to go and yeah so important one on this mission is uh, we talked before about where you set up your um your original patrolman um on this one you've got a choice really of See, if you put this guy here, because the black patrol line moves first, he comes through here. So it's a good opportunity to uh, to just plant a bear trap. But what's actually more useful, because this guy kind of potters around here a lot, so he's, he's the one, it, getting rid of these is generally easier than getting rid of the sentries. So instead, we put him here, because then when he moves, he'll block line of sight to this guy, which means that we can take this guy down. So that's that's the way around we're gonna try it this way anyway. So anyway, it's our turn. Uh, oh yeah, the other, the other thing about this one is we've got a, a vehicle patrol, which we've not covered before. So these vehicle patrols follow a predetermined route. So this one will basically patrol down this road and off there, down this road and off there, continuously until the alarm sounds or it spots someone, then it'll flip to, to kind of assault mode and, uh, and hunt us down. But we've got bombs potentially for blowing it up. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. So, right. All we're gonna do first off is move Ginger to here, because he's the only one of the, the, the annoying thing with this guy is he doesn't have a knife. He's got his bear trap, which is in some ways more useful, but in other ways not. So he's gonna move to there, and I'm just gonna move up to the door with the, uh, with Paddy for now. Right, so that's it. Not, not an amazing first turn, we'll see what happens. So first card out is a black sentry rotate. So this guy's gonna rotate, this guy's gonna rotate, and this guy's gonna rotate. Now, that's annoying, because if we knew that that was going to happen, we'd place the bear trap, and then we could have got rid of two at once. But never mind. Right, so rotate, rotate, rotate. And then as normal, black patrol token to start the game. Black patrol token on. Difference being this time around, beginning of the black patrol phase, the vehicle's going to move. The half track is going to move eight. It passes through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That comes rolling down the road, and then we do the normal black patrols. Is that it? Three black patrols? Yep. So we've got the black patrols on. Uh, that's the end of the turn. It's back to us again. So far, so good. <laughs> All right. Ginger's going to go one, two, and stab. Do 
three, four. So it takes gap. Paddy in the meantime. Oh, that was actually. No, we'll not go all the way out. We'll wait there in case that guy turns around. In fact, we'll go. What do we do? One, two, and stab. Three up to the window. Crouch. So, Paddy, in the meantime, is going to go one, two, three, one, two, uh, that way. So, that's our second move. First turn, we get an alarm advance. And white patrol, so alarm drops to five. White patrol, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, the end phase, this body's going to disappear out from underneath me. That is it. It's back to us. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to go and take out these two guys and wait until the truck's been down and it's on its way back around again. So, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. He might turn around and come back down there again. So, last step into the woods. One, two, three, one. So, he pops up. One, two, three. One, two. That'll do. That'll go to there. No, I'm staying there. I don't know. He's got a line of sight if he goes there. Go there. All right. I don't know I'm so worried this guy's going to turn around. He's probably not. He's just going to carry on doing whatever he was doing. Right, okay. So that's that. The uh, event card is... White Patrol Change. I sensed the patrol change. I just sensed the wrong colour. One, two, and he does a funny turn that way, like that. And then the black line is going to go. So, first of all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. He can't move any further. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So that guy's turned around. Right, so this turn, we'll just go one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. Stab that guy. And then this one is going to walk two, three, four. So we'll just place a trap. There. And hope that he doesn't turn around. So that's our move. Mm. Now the black patrol changes. Now the black patrol changes only mean the humans, not the vehicles. And then we're on white patrol move. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, dead. Okay. 
back to us. Now, we'll move, we'll pick the trap up, pick the body up. So, hold those trap back. One, and then two in place to put the body in there. So that goes down, and we've got our trap back. We've got two AP left. So, um, one, two, three, like that. We'll leave that guy, that body where it is, because it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to go anywhere near it. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, back in here with Ginger again. That's fun. And then, event is alarm advance and black patrol. So, alarm to four. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can't go any further because of where he is, so it just moves six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, end phase. This guy's out. Now it shows. White line's going to go next. Two, three, four. So he's going to be facing that way like that. And that's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's not going to fully leave the board. So we're going to be in a bit of a silly situation, really, where we're just kind of sat in the building waiting for the half track to leave so that we can do something again. Uh, see, these two are really awkward to get to because they're kind of visible from lots of different angles. And we can't kind of start sneaking over the rocks or anything because we don't have a rock guy. So grapple grapple hook guy right okay let's just put ourselves into one two three one by the door uh one two by that door that's it and we'll just sit and let the, t the uh, clock tick down for a little bit so white patrol is turn alarm advance we don't want any more of those alarms on three one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's back to us. One, two, three, four. You can't kill him there with a bear trap because it'll get seen by that as it drives past. So again, we're just going to have to Sit and twiddle our thumbs. Let's just hope we don't get many more alarm advances. In the meantime, black and patrol change. That's you. We don't really want that. We want a black guy to do his thing. So he does like a weird little spin. He does a spin. He does a spin. And the black line moves. This is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it will be like that. We're just off the board. And then he's going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, oh, why won't that half track go away? We could, we just ran out and knifed everyone. Huh. Right, okay. Again, just hiding white and a black rotate again. Rotate, rotate, rotate. White line one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that's it. We're just going to wait again. Black. Oh, don't believe it. Sentry rotate. He's now looking back towards us. He's looking away from us. Black line's going to move, which means that that goes off and then it turns around again. Like that. Turn that it fully goes off. You turn it around. One, two, three, four. He's now there. 
that's on there. One, two, three, four. It's back there. One, two, three, four. It's back to us. But we're just going to sit tight again. White. Pre-spawn. So pre-spawn is on white. Want a couple of these SMG type folks, and they're going to go and get over there and get ready to come and get us, which I'm sure the time is going to come. And then these are going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then it's us. And again, I'm just going to sit tight because. The half track's coming past again. Cigarette token. There we go. Something actually useful. Right. Cigarette token goes to Paddy. Black line moves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're still going to have to sit tight for two turns though before we can make any effective use of that. So again, we're just going to sit tight. One, flip, black line rotate. Mm. 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 And then white line move. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We'll wait. Black. Alarm advance. Alarm down to two. We can't make the turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So we're going to come around this way with Ginger. Because he's got the knife and basically the bomb, the, the alarm's going to go soon. So we're going to, uh, Paddy's going to be from here. He's got, he can shoot from this window, shoot from that window. So he's just going to have to try and defend um, from there. And Ginger, we can fall back to here so he can snipe from the, from the bushes. And uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be how it's, uh, how it plays out. So that's our move. There on white, white sentry rotate. So you're looking that way. And then white line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're turning that way. Right. So this turn, black line's going to move. So we're going to use the cigarette token. We're going to put it on this guy. We're going to come one, two, three, because we can't sprint onto the adjacent. Then we're going to go, so that was two action points, three action points to stab. Yeah. And then, which way was he facing? He's facing that way. Uh, we're going to move to there. So you won't be able to see that body. If he turns around, he will. And it's out of line of sight from the rear gunner on that one. So it's what we got. So the Vanguard, black. Sentry rotate. Huh. But he's not going to do that because he's got a cigarette token on him. Ha. Huh. That was very, very lucky. And black line's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's over there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, right. They've moved. That did that. End phase. That comes off. It is our turn again. The white line is going to move this turn. He's going to come one, two, three, four down to here. 
So we should go one, two, three to here. Then the paddy. Actually, yeah, let's go one. Let's go there and crouch. Then we can pop the pop over the window and uh, grab the barrel and see if we can just get us a little bit of explosive firepower for when it all kicks off. All right, that's our turn. Oh no! Right. So this white patrol is going to rotate. He's going to rotate that way. When he gets to there, he's looking down the length of this wall. So he sees that and he alerts. And that also alerts this guy because he shouts. This is bad. Then the other white patrol. Did I rotate the other white patrol? He's facing the opposite direction to the... I can't remember if I did or not. No, I didn't. So he's going to turn as well. And then it's white patrol to move. Well, obviously he's not going to move. He's far too excited. One, two, three, four. He's going to patrol up to there. And then in the end phase, the alarm is going to go down to one because we have alert units on the board. I mean, we did this move across out of frustration and then we dropped unlucky. So anyway, uh, the if I stab that guy that's there, he's in his peripheral, which means I'll be visible. The alarms are going to go anyway at the end of this turn. So maybe we should just start killing everybody. Yeah, let's, in fact, let's just have a look how many cards we are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cards in. So, two turns to the event window. I reckon we can survive for that long. Right, so we just need to make sure that the half track dies. First and foremost, and I can kind of drag it to me. Two, four, six, seven. If I can get a bomb just there, two. Yeah, that's as far as the half track's going to get towards me if I'm the spotted guy. So let's be the spotted guy. We're going to pop up. Are we? Is this what we're going to do? One, two, three, one. Move and shoot. With the stand gun. No, it's a waste of stand. Right, let's just take aim and shoot at that guy. Ah, oh, yeah. Ha ha. Okay, a plan forms. Right, so we're going to take aim and we're going to shoot 
this guy. So we're going to roll one dice, and we need a two, because he's four squares away. We get a four. So that guy drops. Pop. The alarm goes off. We now have a spotted paddy. When he shoots, the alarm goes off. Also when he shoots, is within earshot of here and here. So they turn to face him. Pat, 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 like that. This guy's out of earshot, but the alarm's gone. So he's gonna be there. That guy flips. That guy flips. This flips. Yeah. And then, what does Paddy do next? He's going to plant a bomb. Actually, he's going to duck. When he ducks, he's in line of sight of this guy. So he's going to shoot and it'll hit him. It's uh, one, two, three. Oh, he's, he's moving out of line of sight because he's dropping to a crouch. So basically, it's a, just a minus two. So he needs a five. He gets a one. So no hit. Then from our crouched position, we're going to post the bomb over the wall to there. Question is, whereabouts do I stick the bomb? Because... That's going to advance, then it's going to go and fade, then it's going to advance again. So basically, not in this turns, in the next ones. So we're going two cards down into the deck. And we just need to make sure that the um, half track is there at the time. Then, still unspotted Ginger is going to step and stab, step and stab, because... He can. From that position. So we drop that guy. And that guy. Which is great. And then that is our turn. So now. We are in the battle phase. The half track, the, the spotted operator is. Um, paddy. So this is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And I'm going to swap him over for my grass one because it, I like to have the correct colour on. So that's not great. Paddy is going to get hosed down through that wall. These guys can't shoot through walls. This guy's going to advance one. Uh, at what point does he get line of sight on Ginger? Basically, when he gets there, does he? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so when he actually gets there, Ginger gets spotted. <sighs> Which. I mean, to be fair, Yeah, he's going to go for the closest anyway, so. Uh, but the, the half track would have spotted Ginger anyway when it advanced, and then that one's going to move up. Uh, these are going to go one, two, three, four towards him. This is going to go one, two, three, four towards them. These should have flipped when the alarm went, so they were already flipped. One, two, three, four. They're going to advance down there. Um, so that is the axis advance. It's now the event phase, and we get oh 
four SMG guys spawning in over there, which are all alert already, as we know. So we've got quite the party starting over there. Oh, uh, and then it's the Axis attack phase. So we're going to get a rifle shot here. That's going to hit on a three. does ginger takes a wound um other rifle is out of range the half track uh, doesn't need to actually have line of sight it's already in an attack position it's in a short range attack position it's going to roll three dice needing threes He's at close range, so it only needs twos. But we are in a building, which minus is three. So two, three, four, five. So it's gonna hit him on fives, just shooting through the building wall. Ouch. Two hits. On Paddy. Right, in the end phase, we remove these bodies, two, three, four, and it's now our turn. He's going to move one, pop up, step back. He needs to stay there so as it rolls up to the building. So that's that. If that's got line of sight onto Ginger, you can get a moving out of. Right, so if he crouches for his first action. He's moved out of line of sight. It's still going to pepper him. So he's going to get three dice. Hits on threes. But it's actually fives. And that's the same for the rifle. So we'll just roll them all at once. So that he's going to get a heavy machine gun and a rifle. All hitting on fives. None. So they all miss one, two, three. He's just moving back into this tree line. So what did he do? He just moved back to and popped up. In fact, you know what? Let's not pop up. Let's just let's just go there. Yeah, that's all right. Right. Okay. That's our go. It's now the access advance phase. Now the funny thing here is he can get a shot on Paddy. So the vehicle's going to move first. It can only move to there, but that's fine. It's at close range. This guy is going to go two, three. Oh, I've got line of sight on Paddy. Not realising he's stood on a bomb. This one is going to go one, two, three, four, because you can't get line on anyone. This guy is going to go one, two, three, four, because you can't get line on anyone. These are going to advance up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, he's at one range. Right. So, that's their go. They have advanced. In the event phase, we draw the event card, which is a sentry sweep. So, this guy just checked behind him. 
But more importantly, it's that bomb that we placed. So that bomb's gonna go off. Not only is the bomb gonna go off, it's gonna detonate the um, fuel barrel that's next to it. So we're gonna roll six dice for the bomb and we're gonna allocate damage on anything two or higher. We got five, which will destroy, I believe, half track health is five. So we blow away the half track and then that fuel barrel goes off, which is gonna be another five dice And that's blown away the other two guys. So that, that, move, that, that, and that, and that. And we've also got these explosions. That go off there and remain in play until the end phase, but that's not gonna matter. So, that's all right. So, end phase, obviously that's off, units off, that guy's there. Now, that guy was actually eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, he was there. He was eight away. Right, so things are actually looking A little bit tastier. So we're going to move that one from the. Uh, we're going to while we're crouched, we're going to place the bear trap in front of that window. We're going to step back. We're going to stand up, and we're going to mark that guy. Then here, Ginger is going to step out of range for the rifleman, pop up for free, and then he's going to aim. In fact, you know what? Shall we do that? Uh, is it worth using it? Yeah, we'll use the sniper round. Then he's going to aim and shoot, which... In fact, do you know what? We're not. We're going to mark him instead. Because then he's going to move into our close range of eight. And we will not need to roll. So. That's our go. There wasn't anything else on the spawn. So it's now the enemy advance. When the enemy advance... This guy steps forward one and we just shoot him. So that uses one of the sniper rounds. No roll because it's plus two. Normally it's on a four. It's on a three because it's close range. Plus two for the marking. The guy just drops. So down he goes. This first guy excitedly runs up to the window straight onto a bear trap and dies. This guy knows there's definitely not an active bear trap in front of the window anymore. So it goes one, two, three, up to close range to shoot Paddy through the window. But Paddy gets to shoot him at close range. We're just using a pistol. So it will be anything but a one. It's a five. So that guy drops. Um, and then the other units here are going to advance. One, two, three, four. So in the end phase, these are removed and it's back to us. Right, so obviously the big bunch of dudes 
approaching could be problematic to the point that if I step up to the window and blast with a stent, in fact, no, we don't get that back. That's still there. It's been triggered. And yeah, so that trap's not going to work. Those guys are going to come into this room that we're in. Now we could. In fact, not just could, we will. Um, we are going to crouch for one. We're going to move in place. And we're going to pop the other Lewis bomb just there. And we're going to set the timer for this turn. So that's, and then we're going to move one, two, while still crouched. So they're going to be able to get a shot on me. I need to go there. There's no shot that way then. Two, three, so. He's crouched anyway, so yeah, let's go there. So basically they're going to move up to that window to uh, get a shot on me. Uh, Paddy, it's not Paddy, Ginger will, he's already popped up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, one, two, three. He's nine away. Okay, so that'll do. We'll just hold that position. Enemy advance. He's going to move into an attack position. Into an attack position. Also an attack position. Oh, no, it's not. But he'll move as far forward as he can. One, two, three. Which way around does that guy go? Shortest distance would be one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Yeah, so he just stays where he is. So two of those guys are in attack positions. In fact, he would stay there because the fastest route is one, two, three, four, five. So right, so they're all there. Nevertheless, we know the score. They're all standing on a bomb. So event phase happens. We get another sentry sweep. So this guy does a little, oh, is there anyone behind me? It's not what's behind you, you've got to worry about, my friend. Uh, and then we get the Lewis bomb, second Lewis bomb, detonates just there. Boom. And it rolls six dice. It's monumental. They all get blown to bits. <clears throat> and that's their advanced phase, event phase. Attack phase, they've not got a shot on anybody. So they're all dead. My indestructible bear trap is the only thing that remains. Uh, then it's Argo. And in Argo... Um, He's nine squares away from this guy, so I can shoot him and he can't shoot me. So I'm going to take aim with a sniper rifle and shoot him, because I only need a two. So that guy drops. Paddy is going to go pop up for three, one, two, three, four, and grab his trap back. Um... Then we should perhaps, I don't know, play drafts or something. Um, enemy turn. 
there's nobody to advance. So we just draw the event card, which is a sentry sweep, but there are no sentries to sweep. So obviously this guy had gone. Um, we'll go one, two, three, four, and pick up this barrel. Uh, Paddy can climb back into the building again. It's not even fired his stand yet. Um, that's it. Next event is another sentry sweep. Just not getting any spawns. So we'll bring this barrel. Um, one, two, three, four. Over there. Paddy stays where he is. Next card out is a three SMG spawn on black. So we've got one, two, three SMGs, which are here. Which is before I've got time to go and put my barrel down which is a shame. By the way, I've had uh, five, two sniper rounds, so I've got three sniper rounds left. Um, so our turn, I'm gonna place the barrel, well, move in place, just leave the barrel there in the middle of the round. Um, and then I'm going to uh, mark that guy with a sniper rifle. From there, eight squares. And enemy turn, he's going to come one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's just stepped into my short range, so snipe around. No roll. Guy's dead. I'm gonna pull the event card, which is yay! We have got the cavalry have arrived, but I'm not sure they're needed. So basically. He gets placed there, and we get to use the Jeep in our turn. We need the uh, the Willys Jeep card out. Which bit can you see? Yeah, so we'll just stick that there for now. Willys Jeep's up there. Uh, it's got its 10 damage. Jock's driving. Um, and Anders is on the front gun. So that's ready to go. And that was the event. And then in the end phase, that comes off. So Ginger, this guy's nine squares away. So he takes aim and shoots, which basically anything but a one will hit because he's at long range now he gets a two that guy gets shot we lose a sniper around and then he marks that guy with the other sniper around waits for him to advance uh this we're going to use a floor action which is one two three four five so that just drives along in a straight line. For one action. And then. One, two, three, four. We'll just drive up to there. For the other action. 
paddy can move over here. One, two, just to this door. Right, so you can go one, two, three for a sprint. That'll do. Enemy turn, this guy advances and immediately eats a bullet. Now we're all needed. No sniper rounds left. And then it's the enemy turn, but we actually just pull a card. We get two SMGs on the white spawn, which that's just not gonna matter. Um, so the Jeep can just wait there this turn. We didn't get to shoot anyone with the Jeep. I should shoot someone with the Jeep just to show you how the Jeep guns work. Uh, right, so. Yeah. So we're going to go. One, two. Three. Four. So when we're moving into the one with the, if the front two squares are moving into that, it uses two um, of its movement to pass through the hedge. And then one, two, three, four, like that. So the operators inside the Jeep are always considered to be uh, spotted in the battle section. So I'm, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna do one, two, three. We're just gonna basically go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's gonna mark instead. And it's Anders doing the marking. So we'll just mark that guy that we know can make it across for a shot. Um so move and mark, then the um, operators are going to move one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This guy is going to go one, two, three, four, because he thinks he's going to get a shot off of the Jeep. One, two, three, four. That guy can't make a shot. But anyway, the guy that can make a shot is actually going to get hit by... We roll four dice for the Jeep guns, and they hit on fours. He's at long range. So if we get four or more on any of these... Yeah, we get a six on one of them. So that guy just gets blown away by Anders and the Jeep. And then we're going to do the event card. Ah, right, so you've got four SMG guys. Coming in on this point. One, two, three, four. So, and then in the, I said they should have already gone. In the end phase, uh, that guy's gone. So basically, it's it's just us now. We've got. I could have done with getting um, the other guys into the Jeep, really, in the last turn. Because these guys over here are actually going to make it to attack. So we're going to move four, one, two, three. And that's all you can do with that action. And then one, two, three, four. And I'll just drive through there. And these guys will go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and then so we've got Ginger on the rear gun. Paddy is the passenger. And then Axis Advance, two, three, you can get basically. One, two, three, four, point blank. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're out of range. So, um, that guy's just going to shoot the Jeep. 
Oh no, sorry, they advanced. Event, there's probably gonna be some more guys coming. Ah, uh, yeah, four more guys on the... Uh... On this one up here. One, two, three, four. And then, then that guy's gonna shoot twice with his SMG. So hitting on threes. He misses anyway. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four for our first action. We'll make it a move and shoot so that Ginger can just unload on this guy here. Short range, hits on threes. Yeah, so he gets blown apart by the rear guns. And then we drive off the map. Woo! Yeah, so obviously we messed around a little bit at the end. Uh, and we dropped Lucky with um, some of the some of the spawn um, spawn events. We got those kind of three um, uh, sentry sweeps. But in all honesty, I don't think it would have made really much difference. We'd still got, we'd retrieved his bear trap and we'd still got all of the stand gun ammunition and a med pack as well so yeah so anyway that was uh mission three um the last one of these that i'm doing is going to be the uh, the day the day who dare um one that shows you how to use the uh nancy the soe operative so anyway hope you enjoyed it and uh those of you that were struggling with this one hopefully that's uh that's given you a little bit of insight thanks See you soon.